Good day grade 11. So welcome to your second lesson in week 2 and our final lesson on vectors in two dimensions. In this lesson we're going to talk about closed vector diagrams. It's actually a very simple concept. A closed vector diagram is a set of vectors drawn on the Cartesian plane using the tail to head method but what's special about it is it has a zero resultant. It has a zero resultant. In other words, the vectors form a closed polygon no matter how many vectors are used. So the best way to understand this again is to look at an example. And the closed vector diagram happens when, for example, forces are in equilibrium, which means that they all balance each other out. So therefore there would be no resultant, right? So let's look at this example. It says an object of mass 2 kilograms. Okay, there's the object of mass 2 kilograms. Is suspended from a light string. A second string is attached to the first at point P. There's point P. A force F is applied horizontally under the, the string makes an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal. And it says calculate the magnitude of the force F. Now, because this is in equilibrium, and how do we know it's in equilibrium? It's because nothing is moving. This means we can represent these three forces using head to tail, and it's going to end up being a triangle. So let's draw this first. Let's first draw this line here. So that line there represents the string that's holding the two kilogram weight. Okay, so that there is this force, that one there. All right. Then do you agree we've got a horizontal force? And remember, we always draw head to tail. So here is a horizontal force. And that is our F. Okay, right. And then we've got the ang force that is going up to the ceiling that is holding this all up, which is T. So that's that force there. Okay, and remember grade 12, grade 11 is what I said was that you guys have rulers. So your triangle is going to look much better than my triangle does. So now they tell us that this angle here, that it makes the horizontal 30 degrees, which means that that there, if I drew in the horizontal, that angle there is 30 degrees. Now we want another angle other than this 90 degrees. How do we know that that's 90 degrees? Well, this line here is that there, which is perpendicular, straight down to the ground. Force F is horizontal, so obviously these are 90 degrees, right? If that's 30 degrees, then if we look at this, this is horizontal and that's horizontal. So we can see that this makes an alternate angle. I mean, so let me just highlight that for you. Okay, there is your alternate lines. There's your Z shape. And this is parallel to this. And therefore we can see that this is 30 degrees. Right. And they want F. Now, we need a value and we know that the mass is 2 kilograms, 2 kilograms. But we also know that the force due to gravity is your weight. And your weight is equal to mass times little g, where little g is 9 times by 8. So we can say 2 times 9.8 and that is going to be 19.6 newtons. So that there, the value of the vertical component down is going to be 19.6 newtons. So now what we can do is we can look at this and we say we've got a rectangle, right angle triangle. We're going to look at use Sarkatoa. We have the opposite side. It is going to be 19.6 newtons. We want the adjacent side. That is your force, which is horizontal. So therefore, we're going to be using tan. So we can say tan of 30 degrees equals the opposite side, which is the weight of our 2 kilograms, which is 19.6 newtons, divided by the adjacent, which is F. Therefore, F is 19.6 newtons divided by tan 30 degrees. I just cross multiplied. So we get out our calculator and we go right. We have got 19.6 divided by tan of 30 and that gives us 33.948 which is the same as 33.95 if we round to two decimal places. So the force F is 33.95 newtons. So do you see that we have used a closed vector diagram to solve 
for something where we have forces in equilibrium and we can find the length of that side. And that grade 11s is all that there is about closed vector diagrams. It's basically when you've got forces that are in equilibrium. Please practice and have a great day.